This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management with this week's market update. This week on the Street of Dreams, stocks closed out another winning week with a Dow up 2.1%. The S&P 500 was up 7 tenths of 1%, while the NASDAQ actually dropped this week 6 tenths of 1%. The Dow Jones Industrial Average eked out a 10th straight daily gain on Friday. It's the Dow's biggest and longest winning streak in nearly six years and shows how the rally in stocks is spreading from the magnificent seven tech stocks into other corners of the economy, things like healthcare, airlines, energy, and banking stocks. The Dow's now up 8% for the year, but it's basically playing catch up to the S&P, which is up 19% year to date, and the NASDAQ up a whopping 35%. Stock market has been on a tear this year as the economy has defied the pessimist and the perma bears predictions for a recession. It has also moved higher in the face of much higher interest rates from the Federal Reserve, who is widely expected to raise its Fed funds rate on Wednesday to its highest level since 2001. Now, many believe or hope this will be the final increase of the cycle as inflation has been cooling since last summer. All eyes and ears will be on Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell on Wednesday for further evidence that inflation is under control. Besides the Fed meeting next week, we'll also feature earnings reports from three of the magnificent seven companies behind the majority of the S&P 500's gains this year. Alphabet, Meta, and Microsoft will report their earnings and expectations are high. To be sure, the big jump for the market this year has the bearish critics saying the rally has come too far, too fast. They say the risk of recession remains because inflation and interest rates remain high. This could be one of the most hated bull markets in my career. Young bull markets tend to be widely hated. That's because many investors who sold during last year's bear market failed to get back in, or even worse, sold at the bottom last October. What the bears and the haters fail to recognize is the market historically climbs a wall of worry, and there are always concerns. But concerns are not certainties, and diversification is simply the best and only hedge against uncertainty. So as this young bull market ages, be a lover, not a hater, and stay invested, stay diversified. Hey, my son Ryan and I, we have over 75 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, goal-based portfolios. For your free evaluation, all you need to do is text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. 6692, or just simply call us at 844-PLAN-NYC. That's 844-PLAN-NYC. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the Chief Investment Strategist of Payne Capital Management.